Welcome to the DNOC 14 remote and in person again conference, this year again in Hamburg. This is the newcomer session, this is not the official opening, so um, we'll walk you through a good amount of what is DNOC. If this is your first DNOC, we're interested to bring you on board and make the start as easy as possible. If you have questions throughout the presentation, feel free to interrupt me or Moritz. Um, quick show of hands before we start, who is actually a newcomer? For whom is this the first on-site DNOC? So that's, wow, that's very nice. Welcome to DNOC, very nice to have you all here. Um, hopefully you enjoyed yesterday if you've been here already and otherwise enjoy the next two days. So with that, how does this work? Here we go. My name is Patrick Busman, I'm the chairman of the DNOC EV um, of the board of the Dino uh, I'm 38 years old and from Munich. Uh, in my day life, I run global product management for the platform technology at Akamai. With me today, I have Moritz Frenzel, who is the head of our program committee and also sits on the board of Dino uh, He He's 28, as you can see, significantly more hair. <laughs> and in his day job, a freelance architect, network architect at Nosquito Networks. I'll talk you quickly through what the multiple personalities of DNOC are. So how do we sort this in and how does it work? We have DNOC, who is an open and inclusive community of network professionals where everyone is welcome. Um, many of us plan, build, run research networks or uh, other networks from small to large. Um, it is a forum where those that work, research, plan, or pretty much do everything else on the internet. Um, and mainly, it started and lives still today on the IRC channel. The majority of discussion is happening on the mailing list. Um, so if you're not subscribed yet, the address is on the presentation, go and subscribe to the DNOG mailing list. In comparison to that, the DNOG EV is a non-profit organization whose goal is to improve the quality and security of the internet at large in Germany. So you can see that as the governing body that we build around DNOC. And DNOC EV aims to support research, science and education by running a yearly conference like the one you're attending today, um, hosting local meetups, providing information on best practices and their implementation, running a forum that, uh, to discuss current developments on the internet, and supporting research with knowledge and contacts and infrastructure. The governing body, the EV, has today about 240 members, and we're obviously looking for all of you uh, to become members as well. And the, we have official memberships for individuals and for legal bodies, so for companies. Um, and it is the legal body that is running the conference that you're attending today. With that, I'm at the end of my part. If you're interested in the DNOC EV Foundation, the government, uh, governance body and how all of that works, I'll give a talk after this that goes into detail of how the EV is run, what the EV is doing, what the goals of the EV are. That is the, one of the only talks that are in German, um, so don't be afraid. It is directly after this. Everything else will be in English. And with that, I'll hand over to Moritz for the rest. Okay. Good morning from my side as well. It's great seeing so many new faces here. It's great actually seeing all the old faces again in person. Uh, luckily, most of you haven't changed that much, but uh, yeah. So, um, as Patrick mentioned, um, DNOG is a bit more than just, uh, just only DNOG as a community. We have the association he just introduced. And then we run multiple events, the conference, obviously, <coughs> but also meetups. The meetups are basically smaller versions of this uh, DNOG conference in a local community. We aim to have two to three talks and then mostly social networking, food and drinks will be provided by us. And our goal, obviously, is to bring people together, to share knowledge, to share stories, to share contacts, and to build something greater than one individual could achieve um, with DNOC as well. Sadly, we only had one actual meetup in person yet. Uh, there, there was something in the last two years, I think. Um, but hopefully, we, we can uh, move on from that in the coming years. Uh, we try to not have any uh, entrance fee on those. They will be in German, uh, aside from the conference here being in, in English. Uh, but obviously, non-native speakers are also welcome, and we'll try our best to make this uh, as inclusive for everyone as possible. Um, 
we have hosted quite some uh, meetups during the pandemic, obviously not in person. Uh, you can find all of those recordings on YouTube as well. And we also introduced a new strand of meetups, which we call leadership meetups, uh, where uh, maybe quick show of hands, who of you has, let's say, some sort of management function over a group of people or technical products? Okay, that's also like, I don't know, 20%, I would say, of the room. So uh, yeah, we, we also try to bring that aspect into it because obviously being a technician is one thing and there are many resources about this, but actually knowing how to lead people, how to lead teams, how to uh, engage in difficult situations, especially uh, when remote work became a thing, uh, is something that we in a community don't talk too much about. So we have these meetups. You're also happily invited to, to listen to them. Uh, and also they are also on, on YouTube. And then we have DNOC 14. Um, I guess you all know what this is, but I'll go uh, through it again. Um, it's this year's edition of the conference. Uh, we have a selection of talks. This can be either long talks of uh, approximately 30 minutes or um, lightning talks, which will be roughly 10 minutes. And then we also had the workshops yesterday. Um, we try to kind of differentiate between workshops um, and, the, and the content uh, on the conference as well. For the conference, we have a very strict no sponsored talks, uh, no marketing policy. Obviously, the, the usual fine print, you're allowed one uh, marketing slide uh, during, during your presentation is allowed. But aside from that, everything must be very technical. And we really uh, look into that not to have any sponsored talks. Uh, for the workshops, it's a bit different because obviously you have the choice where you want to go. You can sign up or not. And so there we also invite uh, our uh, many great vendors we have in our community or integrators, software developers, whatnot, uh, to, to showcase their product. Uh, obviously, it should still bring you value more than learning uh, what device X is called and how many ports it has. So you should still learn something from it that brings value to you, but will also offer you a opportunity to get hands-on experience with that. We're doing this because we've been approached by many of you who, who don't have uh, access to a, uh, to a vendor, who don't have the buying power to bring a large vendor into their uh, office. Maybe you're just a five-man show uh, or, or whatnot. And so we try to uh, offer this space there as well. But there can also be just community-provided workshops. So do not hesitate to uh, submit a workshop if you have something that you're passionate about. Um, also regarding the costs and why you are seeing so many great names here uh, as our sponsors, your entrance fees here are rather low compared to the uh, whole cost of the conference. We try to keep it this way. Um, roughly 30% of, uh, of the costs of this conference, uh, the social, the COVID testing and whatnot, are covered by entrance fees. And the other 70% are covered uh, by our sponsors. Additionally, the meetups I mentioned before uh, are also uh, funded by the surplus that we achieve in this conference. So everything we do would not be possible with our sponsors, without our membership fees, and without your atten uh, attendance. Just to keep that in mind uh, when approaching anyone. So feel free to uh, also thank the sponsors when you meet one of them uh, for supporting this great event and this great community. Yeah, uh, this year, we you will hear this during the day uh, quite a bit. We will have an official social. It will be uh, at the Astra Brewery. We've exclusively rented it. Everyone who wants to go there, please bring your badge. And also make sure that if you bring any friends who haven't yet uh, come to the conference, they also need to be COVID tested. The staff on site will also be COVID tested. Um, yeah, um, as mentioned, talks and workshops are curated by the uh, program committee, and everything we do here is streamed uh, to venue lists, so also warm welcome to everyone uh, watching the stream right now. And obviously, it's also recorded uh, and on YouTube as well as, as on media.ccc.de. Um, this conference is a lot of work, especially preparing it, and it's all run by volunteers. So uh, I would kindly invite you to give a small hand to, to all these uh, amazing people who made this conference possible. And I'd just like to mention none of these people are getting paid for that. So feel free to uh, give them a warm thank you as well when you meet them. You can all find us in the green hoodies uh, today. Um, there's also the program committee, obviously also volunteer run. Um, we show the uh, affiliations here a, a bit more because we try to keep the program committee limited to one member of one company. So we wouldn't have any pressure in anyone saying, hey, we have three program committee members of company X. We will accept the talk 
even though it doesn't meet our standards. And so the program committee also plays a vital role in this. They, they meet uh, every year. Um, I'd like to especially thank Florian, Kai, uh, Richie, Sebastian, who's co-chairing the program committee along with me, Stefan, Theo, Tim and Wolfgang. So also a small applause for them, please. I really hope you will enjoy uh, those people's uh, selection. Uh, if you have any feedback on the program committee or want to learn something uh, or want to contribute, uh, don't hesitate to get in touch uh, with me, with Sebastian or any of the people uh, mentioned on here. And then we have angels, because as you've maybe seen, uh, the small hand of Orga uh, people on here wouldn't cover running the event, and some people haven't been on that list. Everything here is volunteer run, and so we need help. We need someone to cover a shift at the entrance, to have a generic uh, runner role, uh, to moderate the talks you will see. So if you want to help, uh, also feel free to reach out Sebastian, he's standing up back there. Um, he is uh, responsible for all angels. He, if you want to do some work, just a one or two hour shift, uh, do not hesitate to get in touch with him. It's also a great way to socialize and to meet new people. Uh, if you're new here, which most of you are, um, it's a good thing. Um, you can sign up at engel.dinoc.de. Don't worry, it's uh, also available in English if you are only English speaking. Um, and there will also be an angel introduction today at 11 in the main hall. Um, if you want to get to know more about it, uh, find Sebastian in the main hall or mail them at sebastian at dinoc.de. Okay, social events, I, I already mentioned uh, today's social. Um, last night we had the blind peering event. Uh, we did this the first time this year. Um, it is basically a, a very great opportunity to make seven new friends during the conference. So uh, Theo kindly organized this. Um, basically you sign up and you enter a lottery and you will uh, randomly be uh, set together with seven other people in a random restaurant and have a great conversation. Um, it was very well uh, received. We have over 100 attendees on this, and uh, yeah, from what I've heard, it's been, been a great pre-social. Then again, tonight's uh, official social, and what I forget earlier is there's also a brewery tour uh, included, so if you ever wanted to see the technical aspects of brewing uh, Hamburg's most famous beer, Astra, uh, feel free to join the tour as well. They will be run throughout the whole evening. Yeah, um, there are obviously also 13 events prior to this as well as the meetups. Everything uh, regarding the slides is on GitHub, so feel free to go to github.com slash media, uh, slash dinox slash media. There you will find all the slides of the previous conferences and uh, recordings also dating back quite a while are avail available on our YouTube channel and on media.ccc.de. Then Patrick briefly introduced it earlier. Uh, we have the IRC. It's maybe for, for some a quite antique technology, but it still runs best uh, compared to, to uh, other, other of its competitors or its uh, successes, I would rather say. Um, so feel free to join our uh, IRC's uh, channel on IRCnet. Uh, it's hash dinoc, um, where basically if, if something rather large happens on the internet, there is a large fiber cut in Frankfurt or whatnot, you will find a lot of people talking there and saying, hey, is someone else's fiber down in Frankfurt maybe? And uh, it's, it's a great way to double check if it's only you affected or, uh, or the rest of the crew. And also there's interesting conversations, just drop in, ask a question, and I'm sure someone will, will find a way to contribute to, to your goal. Um, if you want to know who those people behind the nicknames are, and we've already printed them uh, on, the, on the badges, um, there's also our chatter list available, and you can see who's here at DNOC, um, wh whom they are associated or affiliated with, and uh, you can also add yourselves if you want to. There's a button at the very top. Uh, it's just a uh, JSON file on GitHub, uh, but if you don't feel uh, comfortable editing JSON files, then do not hesitate to just raise an issue, and we will edit for you. Then, as Patrick mentioned, we have the mailing list. It's mainly used for our discussions. Um, you can go to lists.dnoc.de and subscribe there. And there you will also uh, hear all about the updates, about the conference, about the coming days. Uh, but we'll also send them to you each individually. Um, there's also a separate mailing list for members of the association. Um, you, will, you have the opportunity to, uh, to select if you want to be subscribed when filling out our membership form. Okay, then uh, a very important topic regarding well-being. Um, Patrick also men uh, already mentioned it. We are an inclusive community, and we, make, uh, we aim to make DNOC as welcoming and inclusive as possible. This means we're open for everyone, regardless of their gender, gender identity, age, expression of age, sexual orientation, or anything else that is mentioned up there. Obviously, 
it is okay to professionally disagree on business choices or business decisions, but please never get personal. It's not okay to insult anyone for the work they're doing, the employer they're working for, uh, if they don't uh, meet your standards. So please, this, that's the only rule basically we have for this conference, for this community. Please be excellent to each other as another guidance. Uh, we don't want to increase more rules. In any case, and we never had this happen before, but in any case you feel unsafe, uh, feel unwell or feel threatened, do not hesitate to reach out to any of our board members or any of the staff here. Um, you can contact us personally, Patrick and myself or the other board members I've mentioned up there. Um, you can write us an email either to all of us uh, at vorstand at dnoc.de, which is the board, or you can uh, all use the first name at dnoc.de to contact us individually if you rather prefer to talk to someone. Uh, we will make sure that this conflict gets resolved in case it arises. So yeah, um, sponsors uh, obviously, as mentioned, make, make this whole thing possible. So uh, I, I will go through them and uh, feel free to, to give them a hand. Thank you, first and foremost, Interlink, for being this year's diamond sponsor, obviously the biggest contribution. <laughs> then tonight's social wouldn't be possible without IPHH. Lunch wouldn't be possible <laughs> without Flex Optics, so enjoy the lunch. Your COVID tests here wouldn't be possible without uh, LWLcom, um, so we can all feel safe here and, uh, and warm, so thanks to them as well. Your beautiful lanyards are provided by Thomas Krenn, and a great coffee is provided by Arista, so thanks to those as well. <laughs> Our platinum sponsors are meeting downstairs. Feel free to stop by their booths. They're D-Kicks, B-Kicks, and LIX, so if you are interested in peering in Germany, obviously that's the way to go. And then we have our gold sponsors, Alita, Open Gear, Core Backbone, and Flex Optics as well. And feel free to just visit their booth, get in touch with them, get to know them. And I'm sure they're all great people and will we'll do everything to welcome you to this community to uh, answer any questions you might have. <laughs> Last but not least, our silver sponsors, Data Center One, NTT, Vopcom, Babir, Packet Fabric, and Noris Network. Uh, also make this conference possible with their contribution and Deutsche Telekom and Adix provide us with great internet. We have a 100 gig uplink here. We have great performing Wi-Fi, so thanks to them as well. <laughs> also, in case you didn't notice, uh, the Wi-Fi password is on the back of your batch. Uh, so uh, if, if someone is still without connectivity, turn your batch around. Um, yeah, I think with that, uh, also regarding sponsors, um, if, if you or your company is thinking about becoming a sponsor of DNOC, um, it helps being a patron member because all of the larger sponsorship packages I just mentioned sell out some in seconds, some in, uh, some in hours, but definitely all of them were sold out this year in the first day. So uh, becoming a patron gives you exclusive access for the first week. So yeah, that's almost it. Feel free to abuse any of your preferred social networks to share your experience here at DNOC. We'd obviously love this community to grow, to uh, make everyone else who's not attending jealous. Uh, so please use the hashtag DNOC14 on any social media platform. And with that, I'm open for questions. Just raise your hand and uh, Sebastian will bring a microphone to you. There's one. One second. <laughs> State your name and affiliation, or if you speak for yourself. Well, hi, I'm Jörg. Uh, I'm also new, so say hi, Jörg. But uh, well, um, I have a question, um, and it's not. Uh, it's more about the IRC because in the first uh, you had two slides where the IRC is mentioned, and the first slide I think, uh, when I remember correctly, Freenode is mentioned, and the second slide Irknet is mentioned. So yeah, I'm a bit a confused. Okay. Uh, then it's a typo. It's IRCnet. So uh, yeah. Thank you. We will fix that right away. <laughs> Thank you. Any other questions? All right, then thank you all for being here. Um, feel free to come back in a few minutes and join Patrick to learn more about the association. Thank you all. Welcome again to DNOC. Have a great time. And in case of any questions, green hoodies, we're here to help. Thank you. Thank you.